Uh, I'm so thrilled to be here today. Uh, uh, it's my favorite event of the year, it really is. Uh, seeing all of you here is so important to me. Um, you'll hear a lot today, but I'm going to tell you uh, what I'm going to do uh, when I finish, uh, which is uh, I'm going to follow the advice uh, of all the talks today, which we've been talking a little bit about over the uh, last couple decades, which is uh, I'm gonna go home and uh, exercise, and then I'm gonna eat my Mediterranean diet with walnuts, uh, oil, and, and maybe a little wine tonight. Um, uh, I am going to uh, uh, definitely uh, co make connections with the people I love and, and not be lonely and isolated, and then I'm gonna sleep really well, so I'll remember all the things that you have taught me today. And I think that is really a theme of healthy aging and then you'll hear this over and over again today. Uh, so we have a really tough time uh, keeper today, Harley, and definitely keep me on time as well. Uh, okay, so I just, I'm, I'm very proud to be at UCSF. I, I came here 20 years ago and I think it's an extraordinary place and, and we're embedded at, at UCSF, uh, which uh, uh, is involved with patient care, research and education and that is our motto with the Memory and Aging Center. Um, if we aren't delivering the highest quality of care uh, to all of you in our research uh, or clinical programs, uh, we must know. And I think we constantly think about ways that we can do better and, and, and be better. I, I think ultimately the uh, most important thing for all of you is that uh, there be better treatments. And uh, you're going to hear a lot today uh, about treatments that are emerging, in particular from uh, Richard Tsai, but I'll say a little bit about this as well. Um, I had to show this, it just came out yesterday, but uh, uh, UCSF in dentistry, nursing, uh, medicine, and pharmacy is number one in NIH funding. Uh, neurology, uh, again, uh, number one, uh, almost always number one. And uh, a lot of that is because of the research that is done uh, uh, by people like Howie and others here today at the Memory and Aging Center. So uh, I feel like I'm in a very uh, um, high air uh, when I come to work every morning. This is the Memory and Aging Center. We're too big to get a picture anymore. Is that true? So we missed 2017, but two, we'll, we'll get one in 2018. And I think we're just a little bit bigger uh, than we were in 2016. Important because I do think you really need a village of people to find a, a treatment uh, and cure for these diseases. So I think more and more we're putting people in place who really have the capability to help care for people but also uh, advance the field so that uh, people like me don't have to face neurodegenerative diseases when I reach my 90th birthday. Okay. So just a word about the Memory and Aging Center. We're, it's our 20th anniversary. Zach Miller has uh, got us a, a, a giant baseball game. I, I, I hope they play better. You know, We will tell them we're number one, and they were definitely not number one last year. So um, uh, we uh, have a focus beginning. Uh, Bob Levinson and I, uh, Howie, uh, uh, other people in the room here met uh, uh, around 2001, and, and we became the first place to study frontotemporal dementia. Um, uh, we are very uh, tied to the very best of basic science. Uh, Stan Prusner, who won the Nobel Prize, uh, uh, brought the first uh, treatment trial ever for this horrendous, terrible disease, uh, Jakob Kreutzfeld disease. Uh, around the same time, we became an NIH Alzheimer's Center. Usually, we rank number one in the country. Uh, so uh, we're going in for renewal again, and, and I hope we do as well. Um, Adam Boxer uh, in 2007 started our trials program. You're going to hear from Richard Tsai. I think one of the unique things that we do is we talk with the basic scientists at this incredible campus, think about how their research may uh, give us insights in how to treat these degenerative diseases. And so uh, this is something that is unique, I think. Uh, we don't wait for the pharmaceutical industry to bring trials to us. Uh, you know, we uh, have a sense of urgency, uh, translate uh, what happens in basic science, and, and uh, you'll hear about a lot of the trials that were designed here by Richard and Adam and uh, uh, Julio Rojas. So this is uh, something I'm, I'm particularly proud of. Um, uh, let's see, Bill Seeley became a MacArthur Fellow in uh, 2011. 
the first and still to this day the only neurologist ever to win the MacArthur Genius Award. Bill has uh, pioneered work uh, in the area of pathology and uh, has uh, really led us to the realization that these diseases probably begin in a single cell. So there's a single cell where a protein is misfolded, then this bad protein spreads out across the brain. It's not an infection, but it is infection-like. Uh, and I think almost all of the research now is focused on how do you prevent that uh, protein from misfolding uh, and then spreading, whether it's genetic or, or for some other uh, reason. We moved uh, here in 2012 onto this great campus. I think it's really transformed the work we've been able to do. If you go right across the uh, 4th Street, uh, we're going to have a new building. It's the Weill Neuroscience Building. It's going to be 270 square feet. Very focused on basic science, uh, and uh, there'll be 50 new investigators coming to UCSF focused on neurodegenerative diseases, brain rehabilitation, inflammatory diseases of the brain. So this is going to be a really huge boost to uh, this campus and, and research uh, more, more widely. Um, uh, I'm really delighted. One of the new programs that you're going to hear about is the Global Brain Health Institute, and Vera Bachman will talk about this effort to train leaders across the world. Uh, I think it is teaching us much better how to be leaders, uh, and uh, I think Vera has been a, a, a major force in, in, in this effort. Um, two other things I'll just briefly mention, and uh, that is uh, how we, very humble, like Colombo, um, uh, has started this Artful Lefties uh, program, which uh, is focused on the frontotemporal dementias, and has really transformed this field. We never had enough patients for clinical trials. We didn't have enough patients to understand how these diseases progressed. But I think now with this ma major national effort, including Canada, uh, we have uh, 16 centers that are bringing in patients with these disorders, uh, ready for treatment trials. And, and this is going to be a very exciting year in the area of treatment uh, for that. Um, uh, finally, I want to just say real huge thanks to uh, Jennifer Merrilies and uh, her family advisory council uh, and uh, these are uh, people like you in the audience uh, who are advising us how to do a better job of caring for people. I have a couple minutes. Just want to point out two projects that I'm very excited about. Uh, one is uh, I was uh, asked uh, by two groups, uh, philanthropists, to bring together the smartest scientists I could with clinicians think about how to develop treatments for different forms of frontotemporal dementia. This is a, a group focused on a progranulin a form of frontotemporal, genetic uh, form. But I think bringing together basic scientists with a, a philanthropy uh, uh, with clinical scientists is really the way we're going to cure these diseases. And uh, in this year, Zach and uh, other people have clinical trials ready to go because uh, we interact with basic scientists, uh, and, and this is very important. The same is true with the Tau Consortium, and I think uh, if we had waited for the pharmaceutical industry to find antibodies or something against Tau, I think we'd still be waiting today. But in this consortium, a number of people, including David Holtzman, actually found antibodies that we could use to treat tau aggregation. I think this is going to be critical for treatment of Alzheimer's disease and frontotemporal dementia. So I want you to know it's a, a very exciting year, probably the most exciting year in my lifetime in this space. And I think we really have uh, logical targets, and I think we're going to really have uh, the beginnings of therapy. So thank you, and thank you to Harley and this whole team that put this program together.